Now for part two. Now, the commercial opens up this black man and this black woman. I'm just using that for political or, or politically correct or just familiar terms. Okay, well, it, okay. We open up with these two indigenous descendant individuals who some call black or African American. They're sitting in a restaurant. And the husband, which is a lighter skinned brother compared to the sister, I'm going to get into that too. He attempts to order a dessert, I think it was a sweet. She kicks him and he chooses the fruit cup or the fruit cocktail or something like that. Then there's another scene in the commercial where he's, he's getting ready to slice into a pie. And right before he does it, the woman comes out of the background or comes from the side and smushes his face into the pie. Then there's another scene where the brother is sitting in the bathtub like he's hiding. You are not, not like he was hiding so he could eat his hamburger. She comes in, takes it, and replaces it with soap all right like it, it like the the actions that our parents would perform if we said a particular word that was not deemed i guess you could say polite and put soap in, soap in our mouths so then it flashes and the scene goes to where he's sitting on a park bench and, and he's by himself then when he cracks the can open or he's beginning to crack, crack the paint can open, he immediately fears that his wife is somewhere and she's going to kick his ass, right? However, she's cool with it because it's the, it's, the, it's the type of Pepsi that has zero calories or something like that. Okay, so zero calories mean they took this out, they add some other stuff in that you really don't see at first that can probably still hurt you if... If you want to get in I'll, I'll let all the super super health nuts break that down if they wish to because that's not the per that's not the purpose of this post so then as they're sitting on the bench all of a sudden this Caucasian blonde slender woman who happens to be running or jogging she sits on the bench next to him taking a rest then she turns and she looks at him and she speaks politely and he looks at her he speaks he turns back to look at his wife who is pretty much like his mom and she pulls her hand back with the can as though she's going to hit him where would she were where she was going to hit him however he ducks and it hits the Caucasian woman and knocks her on the ground. Then the couple both look at each other like, ooh, hey, let's go. Then they run away as though they committed a crime. All right. <laughs> then the commercial is over. Now, when we look at this symbology, in relationships, and I, like I say, most, most, black and or white people or black black and or you know men and women won't admit to this there are a lot of relationships there that we're in where we feel like our significant other is more of our mom or parent or father rather than someone who we're supposed to be in a loving and sharing relationship based on communication and trust and all that stuff right so that's the thing that Pip Pepsi used to lure you in. This overbe overbearing so-called black woman, darker skinned black woman who is thick. Nothing wrong with being thick because personally, I feel that the woman was beautiful even though she wasn't in a beautiful portrayal. Now you look at her, she's all thick and stuff, thick. She's taller than his man. The height doesn't necessarily have to refer to the physical height. 
it can be the more symbolic height of this individual being a controller or overseer a giant over the other okay now pay attention to what I just said because when I drop it you're gonna be like oh shit okay now let's focus a little bit more on the couple it is a so-called lighter skinned guy who appears to be smaller than his bigger taller wife who just happens to have a nice big butt okay if you pay attention to recent news and recent events this woman in this video and you all are probably feeling what I'm gonna say right now that woman in that video symbolically was Michelle Obama okay I say this because Michelle Obama recently in the news has been launching this anti-obesity campaign she was here in Atlanta a couple of days ago and she went to some schools that weren't inside the immediate Atlanta wasn't in the exclusive urban section she went to Africa and some other place that they consider surrounding Metro Atlanta and she was speaking on childhood obesity and all of this stuff also she is launching an initiative to in so many words dictate to restaurants that they should only use specific types of food and tone down their portions now there was no mention of toning down the price but tone down their portions okay now so you also see that the man that's Barack Obama okay now there's been information and I don't know if anyone's paid attention to it there's been information circulating that Michelle Obama has been concentrating on his health supposedly now he has stopped smoking and then with other eating habits and stuff with not only him as well as the children and the rest of the family she's been launching this initiative you know organic garden and all of this stuff that you all may have heard however have not placed a lot of attention on you see so the white woman that you see represents that thing I think it was right before Obama got elected there was something about who Johansson this, sister, this woman this Caucasian sister named Johansson they were sending emails back and forth between each other and blah 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 all of this also <laughs> this blood white woman can also symbolize Hillary Clinton okay so Pepsi when this comes down to it this was an anti Michelle Obama tell that motherfucking black bitch to shit the hell up and stop trying to tell us how to serve our foods and stuff like this now I'm not saying this is how I personally feel this is what that commercial was putting out there okay it is the negative aspect of the so-called warrior goddess who instead of joining with her man takes over now they feel a lot of individuals feel that Michelle Obama you know oversteps her bounds and of course this comes from other senators as well as just other people whatever like that so this campaign will serve to in so many words if restaurants lower their portions however yet keep the same prices then what is it going to do for the individuals who are patronizing these businesses if you serve me way smaller portions however you're charging me the same money or more it's gonna run 
places like this or restaurants out of business and we all well know if you mess with someone's money they're coming after you in some way so this is what this is my take or my breakdown in the symbology of what this commercial represents and I know it took two videos for me to bring or two parts to bring this forth however my purpose was to just point out specific key things now that I've said what I've said go back and look at that commercial I invite you to go back and look at that commercial and based upon the things that I have said you, you and tell me you don't see it so as always I welcome you to post comments questions and suggestions and different things of that sort and right now I'll say peace